Welcome everyone, back to RimWorld! So last episode, we primarily got all of our weapons to at least a minimum of charge weaponry. As you can see, we actually succeeded pretty well, but in the process of destroying a smoke, a smoke spewer, if we go to our quest tab, historical, the pirates with the smoke spewer, unfortunately we did lose Kazumi. But in light of that, at the very end, we had a fairly large tribal raid that we killed easily actually because of our shields and then they tried to attack King with her laser sword and you know cloth kilts don't do good against a laser sword but they did have two really good people who were left alive Gerbil who was really good at melee but also iron willed sanguine kind with construction double passion so they can be a constructor but they're also going to be one of our jump pack people which sounds pretty great but their traits are pretty amazing as well iron willed minus 18% mental break sanguine permanent plus 12 and kind makes everyone else around them happier and we have awamed awamb I think that's how you say that who is neurotic plus 20% global work speed plus 8% mental break threshold which it's a decent trait I prefer the very neurotic which doubles the work speed, but doesn't double the mental break threshold. She has nimble, so plus 15 melee dodge chance and only 10% chance to spring a trap. So she's also got 9 shooting with a passion and 9 melee with a passion. So that's mainly why I picked her up. She can become another one of our shooters. She's also pretty, which again increases mood of people around her. So my main goals for this episode are to get at least everyone in some kind of armor. And that includes the two people in here who I'm hoping we can recruit this episode. They have fairly low, or at least this person has fairly low difficulty. Only 28 resistance with 77% difficulty with a 46% chance to recruit. So that's not horrible. The other guy is going to be considerably harder to recruit, but that's fine. But I want to get all of our people in some form of armor. Ideally, cataphract armor, if we go into here. It's not that expensive, if you really think about it. We can, the main thing is the plasteel, and we can produce a bunch of plasteel, and we can also trade for it. And we already have two sets of cataphract gear, so we need one, two, three, four, and then five, six for the people up here. And I guess we could trade out viper's armor as well. I don't know if you can have a jump pack on, like, on, on cataphract armor. I guess we should probably test that out. L let me go see if we have one in storage. We immediately have a threat of the day. It's pretty pretty soon, actually. Ooh, that's nasty, actually. They have a doomsday rocket launcher as well as a triple rocket launcher. Those are the only things we really need to be afraid of. All right, I'm going to send out... Who has a faster walking speed? We can check out... 3.92 compared to 4.0. Okay. Congratulations, Arthur. You're going to be sniping at the seizures. All right. I'm having him start to take pot shots at some of their people from his max distance. All right. That was something, I guess. Come on. Hit them. Hit them, please. No, hit anyone in this area. Uh, draft, undraft. There we go. He will now just auto-fire on them, hopefully hitting someone eventually. So we've just killed one. They aren't attacking yet, which is a bit odd. Where I'm going to start attacking on a few others. Hopefully they attack soon. All right, there we go. They are now assaulting, and we're going to have Arthur run very, very quickly. Oh, oh, my game doesn't like that. I'm going to bring all of our people to the front lines. I don't know if our shield generators can resist the impact of a doomsday rocket launcher. Oh, my game doesn't like that. But hopefully they can. Otherwise, we're going to be in a, a, little, a little bit of trouble. All right, they're just entering our kill box now. Who has the weapons that are dangerous? None of the... Oh, this guy has EMP grenades. That might cause a problem for our shields, especially if the uh, missile guys get in. I Yeah, we're going to have to focus that guy down, but otherwise, I feel pretty confident in winning this. Alright, the two missile guys are coming in right now. Oh, my 
game. My game isn't liking this at all. I'm going to bring Arthur back up here. We managed to take out EMP grenade guy. I've also started improving the kill box. <laughs> I just thought I should mention that. Um, putting steel reinforced walls in between each one so that they can't chain explode. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. So missile guys are in. They're aiming right now. We need to focus the doomsday rocket launcher guy. He's the main one to be afraid of. Because the Doomsday is stronger than all three of the other missiles combined. Oh! Okay, we took him out. We might even be able to take out the other guy as well. And that means we also get to keep his Doomsday rocket launcher. Alright, this turret is going to explode. Taking him with it. Alright. And then... Oh no! Oh, it's going to be so close. Oh no. Thankfully, our shields can hold... But still, that was that was pretty close. All right, there we go. We have just recruited a Wamb, and he is yeah, he is is the one. Or technically, it's a she. Sorry, she is the one who is good at shooting and melee. So I'm gonna give her a charge LMG. So we've just finished the Bionic Heart, and I think it's I think it's kind of appropriate to show this off because um, right now, what is your so King has 17 medical. We have a really good hospital. I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping, hoping that we can operate successfully. And just for this, I'm using Glitter World Medicine just to be sure that Barker does survive. All right, there we go. She successfully completed the surgery and Barker now has a much better heart. It's actually better than a normal heart by 25% uh, efficiency. So a really, really cool event added by Go Explore. Again, I really like this mod. It really forces you to leave your base, and it makes it worthwhile as well. They've added a new way to win, and it's starting Ship Reactor. We might actually do this. Th then again, if we look at the uh, message in history, it's actually quite threatening. Ship Reactor Startup. You detect a massive, without an E, energy signature. It seems like a ship reactor is starting up somewhere nearby. It is probably defended and might attract other enemies too. The ship will be defended by at least 30 defenders and 6 mortars with more turrets. So it's definitely a massively hard event. I don't think we're going to do that one. But we're definitely going to be coming over to the landed ship and doing and you know leaving the planet that way. So I was jumping around through the Empire, just trading away a bunch of our recycled goods. And I've, we've actually made quite a bit of money. I also bought some gold. But while I was scrolling through here, for one, I, they don't have any plastic here, which kind of sucks. But they do have a Persona Plasma Sword. Mad Muttering. This weapon's Persona is neurotic and unstable. It matters mod or mad thoughts to whoever it is bonded to. Unfortunately, I really do want a plasma sword as it's pretty insane. Actually, it's not pretty insane. Never mind, I lied to you. I thought it was a lot better. Oh, it's only normal quality. I just thought it was kind of interesting to point that out, but th yeah, we're going to need to fly to another. Sh this is actually where we sold that really good charge LMG worth 22 grand, but I don't. Yeah, they don't have anything here that we really want to buy. So I'm just going to fly over here. So trading away all of our leathers as well as a few other miscellaneous things like some of the drugs they dropped. As well as a little bit of corn because we have like, if we look at our uh, top left, we have over around almost 11,000 corn which is pretty insane and that's after trading some of it away. But from that trade... We netted 22 plasteel, 336 gold. We I brought along 3,000 silver, so we lost some silver actually, and 146 uranium. And all of this is highly important because right now we are producing cataphract armor. I'm actually making John a set of prestige cataphract armor because that's just like cataphract armor, but made for psychics, so he will be much much more powerful. Keep fabricating. So there is a Imperial Trader here that's selling two Spacer Tech Neurowire Cataphract Armors. And Spacer Tech Neurowire is a legendary that gives an extra 15% global learning factor. So that's 
pretty decent, especially when you consider that it takes around 10 days to produce a full set of cataphract armor. I want to see if we can trade up to get this. Unfortunately, we can really only afford one set of this gear, but that's still pretty decent. I th yeah, we we can only really un un only afford one set because we're selling off half of our cloth, well, over half of it. We're selling the majority of our steel. Uh, I, we need to keep the rubies, sapphires, and diamonds for when the royal tribute collector comes. The plasteel we can use to craft cataphract armor. I'm selling off a few of the extra things like this prosthetic heart, the charge rifle, the sci the sci focus necklace. It's just not enough. I guess we can sell that off. It's still not enough. So we can get one pair of cataphract armor that is of good quality. There we go. And who do we want to give it to? I guess we could give it to Viper. That seems fine. So we have another threat from the Zenslin Mech Hive. A group of mechanoids from the Zenslin Mech Hive have arrived in transpods, transport pods nearby. They are attacking immediately. That's a lot of mechanoids. Seven centipedes, one with infernal cannon, the rest with heavy charge blasters, four lancers, and two scythers. I don't see any pikemen, so I, I guess that's something. I've marshaled all of our people back. I don't know if they'll get back in time. I've also brought all of our robots back. Hey Norbert, you should like maybe not do that. Like go to the animal safe zone. That's a good idea. Uh there you go. For some reason our shields aren't online. Um oh. Ah. Oh, that's actually really bad. No available battery power? Um What do you mean? What do you mean that you have battery power? Hey, why are they not connected? Oh, um, we kind of need our shields, guys. So it's really quite odd. I, I don't quite understand what's happening right now. So we just had a Zert, as you can see here, and then the Zenslin Mech Hive attacked. It says we have 40 watts in the grid. But that's not true. We just had 30,000 watts in the grid. Um. What the? How come this needs 16,000 watts now? I don't get it. That's. <laughs> well, anyway, it's now time for Mr. Mechanoid to uh, attack us. So let's see how we do here. Yeah, okay. If, I think we still win. We'll win this pretty easily, but uh, we might take a few hits. Hits to put it nicely. Yeah, all the Lancers are dead now, so we just have to deal with... Oh, wait, there is a Pikeman. So we just have to deal with Pikeman and Centipedes. Which, again, I'm not all that... Well, uh, I said I wasn't all that threatened by them. Who just launched that, like, grenade or something? Anyway, all of the mechanoids are distracted by our turrets, which is what we want. So this should be fairly easy. As long as they don't, like, kill one of our people. Uh, I'm gonna jump in King because she can melee them. And if you didn't know, mechanoids are quite weak in slow, low range. Alright, she's hit kinda hard. Oh, oh, okay, maybe that was a bad idea. Uh, yeah, that was a bad idea, and we can't jump her out, so, uh, try and run. Try and run, I guess? Oh, um, yeah, that, that was definitely a bad idea. But other than an injury on Barker, a minor gunshot heavy charge blast, we're doing really well. I think there's only four, yeah, there's only four left. King is on fire right now, so that's actually kind of really bad. Oh! Okay, thankfully they missed. The main problem, we wouldn't have any problems, but for some reason, our shields, like, are being dumb. Well, mainly it's our power grid for some reason. I, I need to check that out after. Alright, that's two more down, and we only have one more mechanoid left. 
with a heavy charge blaster. Yeah, it should be dead any second now. Look at it. <laughs> All of the gunshots. Seriously, death by a thousand cuts. Alright, there we go. That is the mechanoids dealt with. And... Uh, who do we want to send? Arthur. Go stabilize King, please. Yeah, that power thing was really quite odd. I think there's something wrong. I think... I think there's something wrong with these shield generators. For some reason, they're consuming... Oh, by the way, there's a cannibalistic supplier here. But I think they're consuming... Like, pretty much that they're being attacked constantly. They're consuming that much power, which is insane. But we do have a cannibalistic supplier here. So I'm going to look through these guys and see, you know, if any of them are worth recruiting. So the one person who looks interesting is Puppy the Policeman. But wonderful, by the way. Um, and the main thing is that he has eight melee. He's decent at plants. He's overall actually a really good character if you consider his traits. Underground or fast learner and erotic. All of those are good in my opinion. Fast learner plus 75% learning factor. Neurotic again plus 20% global work speed is so good. And undergrounder just means they kid don't they don't get upset if they're inside for a long time. He does have a few scratches though, and for his price, over 1,500 silver, it's just really not worth it. So uh, goodbye, Mr. Cannibal Trader. All right, I think I fixed the problem with the shield generators. I just had to turn them on and off. I even bumped the reactor to full power. So <laughs> we're producing like 150,000 watts right now. So, uh, and then they dropped down and we can now see it. I think it was just a minor bug because they dropped down from the sky, I guess. Honestly, I don't know why you can rescue King now, by the way, just because yeah. So we just had another raid in quick succession from the Zenslen Mech Hive again, and this time it's all centipedes. But this time we also have shields, so uh, uh, I, I think it's not really gonna be that much of a contest, so uh, sorry guys, you gotta wake up again. Just as the mechanoids are about to come in, we just got a mechanoid cluster. What? <laughs> oh, my game. Oh, wow, okay. There's a male high psychic droner. There's how many mech drop beacons? Select similar. Two mech drop beacons. There is six mini slugger turrets. A mech capsule. Four auto charge turrets. Two or three auto inferno turrets. A pikeman assembler. And they have a mortar shield as well. That's uh. <laughs> This is one insane, insane, insane mechanoid cluster, but let's deal with the current threat first. So the main problem we're going to have here is that our one of our shields is going to go out. The right one will. Actually, both are. Oh, um, um, John, John, you got to work on that granite wall or else we're in some deep trouble. Hopefully he's able to do that because... If he isn't, then uh, we have a bit of a problem. Oh no! That is a bit of a problem. So I think something might just be bugged with these uh, shield generators. Um, power needed. Well, here's the hundreds. Then the I think that's um, almost three million watts. It needs three million watts. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. This is why I wish some people would check their mods before uplo up, you know, uploading them. Because I don't think this is intended. <laughs> 3 million watts. That's ridiculous. So right now, we're doing not so well. Um, <laughs> we don't have any turrets right now. Because this shield generator is broken beyond all belief. 3 million watts is just... Completely broken. Uh, I might just start using a different mod, the shield generators, because that's just not acceptable. Like, seriously, 3 million watts. Um, we're going to have to pull back all of our non-armored people. So, Starry and 
Barker and Olamp pull back. All right, uh, I'm gonna have them go to the med bay because, you know, they might as well. It's not like they can really assist here because normally we would have shields, but you know, <laughs> something is stopping us from that, Mr. Three Million Watts. Right now, it's looking like we will maybe be able to win this. There's eight centipedes left, which is more more than I really need to deal with because Browning was just on fire. Alligators hit pretty hard. She just lost one of her toes. That's wonderful. Uh, where's Viper? Viper, why are you over there? <laughs> All right. So that's one more gun that we have. This is... <laughs> this is just horrible. Wait, wait. <gasps> Maybe it's no longer consuming insane amounts of power. Maybe my grid will come back up. Thankfully, there's only one left now. Mechanoid cluster, yeah, whatever. There's only... Wait, no, there's not... Maybe there is just one left. I, th I think there's just one left. We can't pull any of the centipede corpses into our storage system because of, you know, there being no power... But I think we've got this. I mean, seriously, look at our kill box. It's all on fire and horrible. And kill this thing, please. Alrighty, there we go. We have defeated the mech cluster with no losses. Other than, you know, a bunch of people losing minor limbs and bleeding out and such. They even managed to hurt the cataphract armor people. Which is pretty insane because... Cataphract armor is some of the best armor in the game. Oh, well, that's another spine we got to replace there. All right. So we need... I'm just checking what we need. We need a new right... We need a new leg or foot, depending on what we can make. We need two new legs. We need a new spine. Another new spine. So two spines, two legs, and a hand... Or slash arm. That's the, that's a lot of prosthetics that we need. Now, with that said, I'm gonna have to go through everything and manually turn its power off because we can't turn on our reactor again because Mr. 3 million watts decided to absorb it all. I think on that note, this is a pretty good wrapping up point. All of our power is gone. There's a massive mechanoid cluster outside. A bunch of our people are in the hospital. I think uh, that's a pretty, pretty fitting end to this episode. And for the most part, I did finish up our goals. Most of our people have armor now. As you can see, King has armor. It's just in the storage unit and she's still downed. These three all have armor and Alligator has armor as well. But she's decided to leave it right there in the middle of the kill box. So right now we're only missing one, two, three sets of armor, and we actually have the materials to build all that, and right now we're actually working on another set of cataphract armor, so we're going to be done with that easily by the end of next episode. But with that said, if you guys did enjoy this uh, pretty combat-focused episode, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Any support that does get us out there is very greatly appreciated. Anyways, have a great day, and goodbye.